NT pro BNP versus BNP and when to use NT pro BNP and when to use BNP. So let's go through it one by one. So as already uh, discussed, NT pro BNP and BNP are the products of the pro BNP. So from the cardiomyocyte, pro BNP is formed from the pre pro BNP. This pro BNP then cleavage into NT pro BNP and BNP. So in general, NT pro BNP levels are five to ten times higher when compared to the uh, compared to the BNP. And second important thing is that the half life half life of BNP is twenty minutes, whereas the half life of NT pro BNP is one twenty minutes. So thus, uh, NT pro BNP level stays there for longer time in the blood, and BNC level stays only for a shorter period of time. So when since it stays for only for shorter period of time, BNP. Uh, its levels are uh, not very much predictable or maybe unreliable in sometimes in case of heart failure. And another important thing is to remember is that this BNP is metabolized or cleared by uh, non-renal clearance receptors, renal also by renal excretion and also by neutral endopeptidases enzyme in the blood. So there are three ways of clearance of this BNP. However, NT pro BNP is cleared only by the renal excretion. So this is important to be noted that NT pro BNP is excreted only by the renal excretion only. So suppose now if you have a patient of chronic renal disease or chronic kidney disease patient or renal failure patient. So obviously since renal excretion is affected in this patient, NT pro BNP level will be falsely high. So NT pro BNP levels will be very much high in patients of CKD. So NT pro BNP levels are not reliable in this uh, group of patients in kidney disease. So in kidney disease, you should use only BNP in case if you want to see it as a marker for uh, heart failure. 